Hey, Arca, New Jersey. It's me, Matthew Cassio, back with you again for another Wednesday installation of helpful tips and advice. We got to come up with a name for this, by the way, Arc. Uh, we got to come up with a catchy, you know, uh, Matt's Wednesday something. I, I don't know. Aaron, think of, think of some. Aaron or Frankie, think of something cool. Think of some snazzy name uh, for us to call this. Um, IHT's Helpful Hints on Wednesday. I don't know. Uh, but we're back with you again to give you some great advice, some great exercise tips, as always. Uh, this week, I want to focus on um, hip flexibility, uh, dexterity, and strength. It uh, is something this week I've had to deal with with a couple of uh, clients who are doing uh, lots of either cardio or they're tight from a lot of sitting, so opposite ends of the spectrum, but they affect the hips the same way if they're not strong enough. Uh, it's an area a lot of people struggle with because it's a tough area to exercise. It's not something we normally think of when we work out. We think of the arms, we think of our stomach, uh, we think of our back and, and even our, our legs, our big muscles like our quads and our hamstrings, but oftentimes, our hips uh, get left out of the equation, our hips and groin area, which are two areas that if you don't keep strong, um, unfortunately lead to a lot of uh, pain, lower back pain and, and um, balance problems in the legs. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys a, a few different ones, some of them standing, some of them sitting. As always, um, you can reach out to us with any questions you may have about whether it be the weekly uh, tips or the Friday exercise uh, ch uh, exercise program we do with ARC, whether it be me or Kristen, you can reach out to inhometrainermat.com, uh, info at inhometrainermat.com or 908-875-3241. And we are more than happy to give you any uh, helpful advice or tips you need with exercise, with uh, you know stretching, uh, nutrition, anything that uh, you guys need or any questions you may have about these videos. So without further ado, let's start. I'm going to show you now. I got my trusty bar chair next to me, uh, which is just high enough for these videos. So I'm going to show you guys different ways to do some of these exercises. The first one being taking your leg and just pushing it straight out sideways like so. So this one's a good one because even if um, you don't have the greatest balance while standing, you can use a chair or a stable device. Obviously, make sure it doesn't have wheels. Something that you can use to balance yourself as you do this exercise. And I'm just bringing my foot out and back in. I'm letting it touch the ground in between just like so. And then obviously going to do the same with the opposite leg. I recommend going one leg at a time. Just make sure you do even numbers, guys. Um, try to count because if you end up doing, you know, 20 on one leg, 10 on the other, you're going to end up with uh, stronger muscles on one side and then you'll be all off balance. And one more. Good. I probably did an unequal number there, but this is just an example, guys. Uh, okay, so the next one we're going to do, I'm going to turn it to the side so that you can see better. Now, instead of going out, I'm going to bring the leg across my body. So I'm bringing my right leg across the left one and just in like so. Just swinging that leg straight across. Hopefully you can see it on the screen here. Unfortunately, it's tough to get uh, every part of our body involved here. I'm just gonna move this down a little bit. There we go. So just swinging across. As you guys can see, by the way, I finally took down my Christmas decorations. 
It's a proud moment for me. I've been telling you guys the last few weeks I was going to do it. And I finally, finally got rid of them just in time for um, the snowstorms to come through and make it feel like Christmas all over again. All right, so now I'm taking the opposite leg and I'm going right across left. I'll swing the chair around so that, again, you guys get a better view here. Right. So my right foot's going across my left foot here. Like so. One more. Good. All right, now what we're gonna do, and this one you can do standing and you can do it holding a chair or a wall. Remember, that's another thing, guys. If you don't have anything stable in your room, you can always use a good old trusty wall um, to do these exercises, whether it be the swing outs, whether it be across the body like so. Um, you can always use a wall to do the same thing. In fact, this next one I'll show you with the wall, again, whether it's a chair, wall, doesn't matter, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. We're gonna bring the knee up one at a time as high as we can. Barely letting my foot touch the ground before I bring the opposite foot up. So as soon as the one foot hits the ground, I'm coming up with the opposite foot, raising my knee nice and high. As high as you can get it, guys. Now, if you are stuck in a chair, if you can't stand, that's fine too, because you can do this exercise seated. Just again, raise one at a time like so. And last one here, good. All right. Now the next one you are going to do from a chair, um, doesn't matter whether you uh, can stand and do these exercises or not, this one you always do from a chair. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the knees out a little from the chair and just widen them, close. Widen, close. I know you can't see my legs all the way down, but they're bent at the knee. I'm not keeping them straight. Bend and close. Or open and close, I mean. So wide, close, wide, close. Just like that. Pick the knees up just enough so that you can do this properly. Open, close, abductors, adductors. Couple more. Last one, right here. Good, excellent job. All right guys, another way to do that, and you can do this uh, whether you have uh, a pillow if you have a stability ball like myself here, or you have even just something as common as a pillow, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put said object between your legs. So let's say I have a stability ball. Uh, you're gonna squeeze between your legs, and again, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Anything, guys, that's Big enough, put it between your legs, but soft enough that you can squeeze. You don't want to use an object that's too hard that's going to hurt the knees uh, and something so small that you can't really squeeze it. But everyone's either got like a big pillow 
Uh, again, you can use a bed pillow, a couch pillow, uh, something like that, uh, that everyone has in their home. And you see here, if I'm using the pillow, again, my legs are a little further in, but I can still squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, just like so. If you have a big fluffy square pillow, you can even go that way with it. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. My trendy little designer olives on it is my, my couch pillow. Squeeze, release. Good. And that works all these inner muscles here, guys. Um, the last one I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you standing again, and then I'll show you seated. Um, you're going to go up, across, down, up, back in, down. You guys know this one. Up, across, down. If you've done the classes, I mean, you definitely know this one. Just like so. Up, across, down, up, back in, down. So basically we're taking our leg up and out and then we're letting it come down and reset and then up, back in, down. Again, if you don't have a chair to hold on to and you don't feel stable, a wall works just fine. Up, across, down, up, down, up, across, down. Show a couple more with the chair and then I'm going to show you the seated maneuver. If you can't do the standing up, down, up, across, down, up, in, down. So if you can't do this standing guys, you can do it from a seated position. And what you're gonna do, the difference is you're gonna come up across, you're not gonna do the down part, you're just gonna bring the leg back in and down. So it goes up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. That's the only difference. Up, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. There you guys go. Those are some great exercises to get some nice stretching in the hips, in the groin area, strengthen and stretch so that you guys are nice and flexible. You don't have any lower um, body imbalance or injuries that can cause if your hips and groin are tight, if they're not flexible, it causes all kinds of lower body problems. So these are great exercises to do, again, to strengthen and keep flexibility in those important areas. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I tried to give you as many ways as possible, but again, if you need help, uh, if, if you need to figure out a different way to do things, you can contact us, inhometrainermat.com, info at inhometrainermat.com, 908-875-3241. We are here to help as always. You know that ARC in New Jersey. We love you guys. Can't wait to see you on Friday. I got a great class planned. Uh, hope you're all having a wonderful week and good luck with yet another snowstorm coming our way. But we'll get through it. We're almost there. We're almost to spring ARC. We can do this. <laughs>